Hi babe, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. Good morning. Welcome back or welcome if this is your first video of mine that you're watching. It is Vlogmas Day 16 and we are going strong. I'm honestly feeling pretty proud of myself right now. Although, you know, I don't want to jinx it because we're technically a little more than halfway through, but you know, still feeling good that I've made it this far and I'm feeling good about the remainder of Vlogmas. The last time we saw each other, I was heading out on a first date, which ended up being really fun. Had a good dinner, had good conversation. My outfit did not fail me. I ended up being warm enough, which is great. And the very least, I'm grateful to have a new friend in the city. Got up early this morning, edited the next Vlogmas video, got that scheduled and ready to go. Just like clipped my hair out of my face because I kept touching it. I feel like when I touch my hair a lot, oil from my hands just makes my hair oily and <laughs> not a vibe. I feel like my hair has been feeling dry since winter has begun. Like actually my whole body. <laughs> So I'm trying not to wash my hair too, too much and dry it out more than it already is. Anyway, why am I telling you that? You don't care. You don't need to know that. Why am I telling you that? It's okay. Now you know. I was looking at my calendar and I'm realizing that my mom will be here in less than a week, which I'm very excited about. And I have planned a big trip for her. We've got a lot going on. And I was thinking this morning, I'm like, I don't have anything planned today. And maybe I should go do something or fill up my time and plan something. And you know what I'm thinking? I think that just having a cozy chill day at home is great. I need to gather up my energy for when my mom comes because we're gonna have so much fun and I have stuff booked every day for us and it'll be quite an adventure. And I know that we're just gearing up for Christmas. You know, so I think today's vlog is just gonna be a super chill at home vlog. I wanna start my new book that just came. I need to catch up on emails. I need to do a little bit of laundry and I just like need a chill, cozy day. I have quite a few things booked for tomorrow and Friday. And then before I know it, my mom will be here. So taking advantage of having nothing planned for today, except for hanging out with you and having a chill, cozy day. Let's open day 16 from our rituals advent calendar too. Let's see. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Of course, it's the conditioner to the shampoo that I opened up last night. For some reason, I was surprised not expecting this. <laughs> but this makes perfect sense. I got a new notebook and I got my next book. I'm old school. Like I do like to keep track of lists and make notes and stuff in my phone in the notes app, but I'm also just big on putting pen to paper and I love to just keep a running to-do list. And so my current notebook is full. So we got a new one. I got this on Amazon. I will link it below. And I got my next book and I decided to read Too Good To Be True. Same author who wrote Tell Me Lies, which I read couple months ago and absolutely loved. So I'm excited about this. I actually don't even know what this book is about. I just saw it and ordered it. I didn't even read like the plot line or anything like that, but let's read it together. Sky Starling is overjoyed when her boyfriend, Burke Michaels, proposes after a whirlwind courtship. Side note, has anyone else noticed that people say the word whirlwind as whirlwind, like with a D in it? This gives me the ick. <laughs> I'm sorry, it does. Look, I'm not immune to saying words incorrectly, but for some reason, whenever someone says whirlwind instead of whirlwind, it just really grinds my gears. Anyway. <laughs> Let me start over, okay? Let's just, sorry. Sky Starling is overjoyed when her boyfriend, Burke Michaels, proposes after a whirlwind courtship. Though Sky seems to have the world at her fingertips, she's smart, 
beautiful, and from a well-off family. She's also battled crippling OCD ever since her mother's death when she was 11, and her romantic relationships have suffered as a result. But now Burke, handsome, older, and more emotionally mature than any man she's met before, says he wants her forever. Except Burke isn't who he claims to be. We love a twisted plot line. Side note, they never are. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's so pessimistic. Except Burke isn't who he claims to be, and interspersed letters to his therapist reveal the truth. He's happily married and using Skye for his own deceptive ends. In a third perspective, set 30 years earlier, a scrappy 17-year-old named Heather is determined to end things with Burke, a local bad boy, and make a better life for herself in New York City. All my favorite things! But can her adolescent love stay firmly in her past or will he find his way into her future? On a collision course she doesn't see coming, Sky throws herself into wedding planning as Burke's scheme grows ever more twisted. But of course, even the best laid plans can go astray. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> and just when you think you know where the story is going, you'll discover that there's more than one way to spin the truth. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I will be starting this book today. If you want to read it with me, I will link it below. One love story, two marriages, three versions of the truth. I have a feeling this is going to be good. I need to post on my Instagram story sharing today's Vlogmas. Ugh, also, at some point, I really want to get back to all your comments. I know I've been really bad about that. I, no one's said anything to me, but I feel like you guys who watch my channel frequently know I'm usually really good about answering every single comment, but between vlogging and editing and posting a video every single day, I just like have not been able to get into the comments. I tried a little bit the other day and then lost service when I was on the train. So I was like, okay, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that today, but that is definitely on my list. And I just wanted to acknowledge that I'm not trying to ignore your comments. I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> with everything happening, I'm sure you understand. Anyway, wanna get a little bit of editing done and I kinda want lunch. I have stuff to make a salad, but I just like really don't wanna make a salad. I don't want a salad right now. You know what I really want? I want vegan Thai food. That's it, we're doing it. That sounds delicious. Couldn't think of anything I'd like more right now. And you know what? I will work until it gets here. Thank you. And then we'll take a little break. Thai food has arrived. If you live in Brooklyn, you must try Nora Thai. They have an amazing vegan Thai menu. It's my absolute favorite. And I just, I went hard. I ordered a feast. I ordered all my favorite things. <laughs> ginger ale, because I just have to order a ginger ale when I order takeout. I, I can't tell you why. I just, I have to, okay? Did that. Vegan curry puffs, which are basically like puff pastry with curry inside. OMG, so good. Papaya salad. Got an order of spicy eggplant, which also comes with some jasmine rice. How cute is this little container? Love that. Also, if you're like, Shayla, this is so much food. I know, I just, Thai food makes great leftovers. Vegan tum yum soup and spring rolls. Before I eat and get cozy on the couch, cause it's like a few hours later now, I want to take the dogs out for a walk because the sun is about to set soon and I want to get out and get a little bit of sunshine before it leaves us for the day. some Amazon packages. By the way, it is so cold outside, holy crap. My nose is like frozen and my face is like frozen from being outside. <laughs> Pretty sure this is coffee. It could be wrong, but I feel like I've seen at least one or two comments asking what my favorite Nespresso pods are and they're linked in the description box. And these are them. It's my absolute favorite. So, so, so good. Got some coffee. And I also ordered another magnesium because I love drinking this at night. And we're stocked. I am so hungry. It is time. I don't know why I wait so long to eat. 
definitely ordered this a long time ago. <laughs> I just feel like I can't sit down and enjoy my meal if there's like stuff that needs to be done or if the dogs aren't taken care of. I'm like, okay, let me do that first and then I can sit down and relax and enjoy. Here is the lineup for my bath. I'm gonna be using this body wash, makeup remover, double cleansing, and exfoliating. And then lathering myself in this body oil from Osea once I get out. Sorry that it's so dark, but it is night night time and I'm not turning on the lights. <laughs> Red lights only. Okay, we gotta keep our circadian rhythm in check, but I'm going to read my book for a little bit and then go to bed. But thank you for hanging out with me today. I love ya and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>